All right, so the purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use a nested family that has the parameters that we use for our standards to basically be populating uh, a manufacturer family that may not have that data and then have it all come into our project so we can schedule it and potentially tag it if we need to. Okay, because this is a question I just got asked. So what I have here is I've got a little uh, Oh, this is a little cylinder. It's just meant to uh, contain data for me. Uh, this is going to be our nested family, but this nested family is important because it's going to have all our Eagle Point custom parameters, that type of thing. So, you know, Eagle Point's the company I work for. So what I'll do here is I'm going to uh, create some parameters, but these need to be shared parameters. Okay, so I'll go to shared parameters, especially if we want to tag, but I think uh, in any case, and we're just going to, I'm going to create a new group here just for the sake of, and we'll just call it mechanical equipment. Watch me already have a group named this, oh, yep, <laughs> so let me go ahead and just scroll, uh, scroll on down. So here's my mechanical equipment group, and I'm going to create a new parameter called, uh, let's call it, um, you know, performance A criteria. Criteria. And we'll just create another one. And this might be a number or something. You know, and we'll create another one. And I'm just making this up as I go along. Uh, you know, e uh, coefficient. And we'll say performance coefficient or something. Coefficient. So again, just totally making stuff up here as far as numbers and whatever it might happen to be. But the point is, is that I've got these parameters. You know, they'll be the type of parameters that I need, the data that I need. Okay, so I'll click OK. And the idea is that in this family, I need these parameters because I just did that with my shared parameters. So I will go to create and add these into my family. I will go to family types. I will click on the add parameters button, shared parameter, and it depends what it's a uh, type or instance. Make sure you select the right um, uh, setting here. So if it's a complex piece of mechanical equipment, probably an instance parameter, maybe. And then just kind of depends. Select mechanical equipment, bring that one in, and there it is and let's go ahead and bring in the other parameter into this family that will be nested in the manufacturer family so I'll click on add again just as an example shared parameters select maybe it's a type parameter and uh, we'll go down to mechanical equipment and there's our coefficient and bring that in and there it is it's dimension so it's the wrong type but you get the idea okay so click OK the data is associated with this object now let's uh, make sure that shared's off the reason is, is you don't necessarily want this uh, information doubled up um, I believe in the host family so we'll go ahead and load it into oops went one step let's undo that go back here EPR fam our parameters because what I have here is right now I've got the project open with my mechanical equipment let's pretend this is a manufacturer piece of equipment, uh, no data. I'm going to edit this family. Okay, It doesn't have the data I want in there. I need this data in here. So what I'll do here is go back to our original uh, EPR parameters, where our parameters live, load it into the family, not the project, and place this you know, where it makes sense. And we'll just place it real quick. And we'll put it in the right spot. Just need one instance here place it there and make sure it's kind of you know and again I would be obviously a lot more careful were I to be doing this for a real live project and family but you get the idea so now that it's there uh, that that uh, data container as you were let's go ahead and load this into the project and we'll load it we'll overwrite what's there right now and in our project, you probably want to add this into your template if you're going to be doing this over and over again. But the point is, is here in the project environment, go to Manage, Project Parameters, and then click on the Add button. And we'll add those shared parameters that we we're talking about earlier. So again, uh, it needs to be the right category. So mechanical equipment, 
right? Select, go out to mechanical equipment, add these parameters. There's one. Uh, I believe that was an instance parameter initially, right? So we want it to be the same here. We'll add it again. Again, mechanical equipment. Don't want it across all our categories, just across certain categories. Shared parameter and select and mechanical equipment and that coefficient and I think by default it was a type parameter make sure mechanical equipment is selected here and click OK and click OK here now that data should be in our project to find out for sure cross our fingers here go to the view tab and then uh, let's see here what were we looking for uh, oh schedule <laughs> Schedule quantities. Putting this together as I go here, and we're doing mechanical equipment. Okay, and let's see. There's my performance A criteria, performance A coefficient, coefficient. You know, we probably have a mark value in here as well. Just keep it nice and simple. And there's our data. We can enter in the data here. And since that was probably a number, you know, and that's a, a distance. Etc. But the data is here, and it came in via that nested family. That's the idea. Okay, so you could add that nested family into any of your manufacturer families, and as long as the the project has those shared parameters in its project parameters, they'll be available in the project as well. And like I said before, good idea to initially have these as part of your project or your templates, your project templates, so that way you won't have to do this on each project. You'll do it once in your project template, and for every new project going forward, you'll have the parameters uh, as part of your project, and you just need to load the family then, and it should populate. Okay, hopefully, hope that helps.